Hi everyone, Julia here, recording this October 28th, 2022, and this is a summary of Jason's Live from October 23rd, I believe it was, and it's called Laughing in the Dark, The Shit Show Must Continue, or The Shit Show Must Go On. The thumbnail for the video is a picture of Forrest Gump's body with Jason's head illustrating according to Jason just how easy it is to show the public what you want them to believe. Jason liked when he heard that Russell Brand used the word simulacrum. Jason says that he likes Russell Brand's style. He says handlers give patriots so-called insight information. He names Charlie Ward, Michael Jaco, Simon Parks, Mel K, 107, he thinks that they're genuine and just deceived. Those that interview the insiders are even more innocent, like David Nino Rodriguez. He says that it's all a part of the intelligence apparatus and that the media keeps it going, always mentioning potential catastrophes like meteorites, solar flares, a ready weapon to take out truthers or other populations if needed. The intelligence apparatus also funds Hollywood, presenting alien invasion stories with a twist of religion to make it believable to everyone. Jason goes on to say that your life can be joy and that you're not a victim. He speculates that by 2036, the elite will be hermetically sealed into luxurious underground facilities, and until then, we'll play their game. He thinks Donald Trump was made offers and told things, and that he is overall a good guy. The high-profile people now have to play ball and follow their script. The intelligence apparatus has purposely created numerous narratives in the last three years. He says that they know us better than we know ourselves. He speculates that they thought 1901 was a phoenix year, and that they somehow missed a year, and after a mild reset in 1902, they now know that 2046 will be the big reset. He says that we are in a takedown right now, but that the event in our personal lives are up to us. He says he has no fear of dying, and it's just the Avatar that dies. He promised some upcoming UK and Canada predictions. Jason says to ignore the ancient Hebrew calendar, Hebrew and calendar dating was changed because they didn't want Christians to use the mathematical prophecies of Daniel, implying that Jesus may be the Messiah. They changed the calendars by 134 years. And the Rabbi No, which is illustrated by Velikovsky publishing exact dates of the birth of Abraham and the Great Flood, and he couldn't have known this by the Hebrew calendar. Jason says that there are many levels of deceit in modern publishing, that 10,800 BC is too far back, and that there is only data for around 7,000 years of history. Jason says that the progression of the past three years have not been normal, and that they're stalling for time. The CGI and other fakery are off the chain. He says that the military is not in control. All elites have contracts to honor and will go where told. Q is a psyop. The intelligence drops are sophisticated and tricky and makes it seem like the truthers are correct. All elite are in this together and know a big reset is coming. The intelligence agencies will not leak info to the public. If we can decode it, so can the enemy. The bad guys won't give up. There's, proof of peop there's no proof of people going to get Mo. The narrative, that narrative has died off as others do. The truthers back off certain negative nar narratives via their handler's instructions. They know that the discerning will figure out that this is all BS and that they'll try to figure out the truth. Stories of Shambhala, Argartha, Sprites, and the Pied Piper include going into caves in the underworld and disappearing. Jason says that the children's crusades actually went underground, and it was in 1212 AD, a phoenix year. 
he mentions that ancient underground cities found in Turkey and says that they're a project of elite antiquitech. He mentions how technolithic technology is superior to what we have now, heliolithic technology. He says that the trucker convoys are supplying underground facilities needed and that the missing migrants have been taken underground in military convoys. He says that there are no workers around with all the influx of people that have recently come into the U.S. He says that there were perhaps one or two that were legit, legit trucker convoys, but most took goods to the underground cities. He reiterates that the takedown is going on now. There is a changing of the guard. The crazy liberals were allowed to go extreme. It was part of the script, but they, were to they weren't told that everyone would turn against them, but they signed the contract, so now they have to go along. Just like the seven astronauts' fake deaths and some of the assassination. He says most are scripts and that there is no difference between the two sides, that both sides signed the contract. Some are dead and some are underground. Some were killed by the deep state. He mentioned how Bin Laden had a cartoon coffin that they videoed and that he's probably now underground in nice accommodations. The so-called leak intel about arrests and disappearances are all to destabilize the public. They preserve order by giving everyone else chaos. They want the elite hated. All are in on it via signed contracts. Jason says that it will all end and a trusted leadership will emerge. Debts will be forgiven, and we'll have a few good years until the Noahide Law templates emerge. Sports as we know them will be over. The arena will be used for something else. The entire world will switch over, except for the Middle East. It'll be a good period, very peaceful, with a lot of trust and leadership. We, and even as many as five million, knowing the truth, won't change anything at this point. There will be no talking badly about Jesus, etc. The conservative right will justify everything they do in the name of God. They'll oppose the people, they'll oppress the people, and then give them a 3D virtual reality where anything goes. 80% <clears throat> will be in virtual reality, possibly. In public, blood, score, blood sports and best behavior will be the norm, but in private, anything will go in virtual reality. The elite will stay down in the underground until 2052, according to Jason. All indications are that we've gone full circle and we'll be having another vapor canopy and the return of the seven kings. The elite will come back to the survivors, as was done in the Neolithic period. After 1901 didn't happen, the elite came up and reinstated their authority using World War I and World War II. And after the Nuremberg trials, they had control. He mentioned that it took 44 years, from 1902 to 1946. And I say it's interesting because since 2040 will be uh, the 44th Phoenix event and uh, since the last vapor canopy emerged. Jason says that they will not lose control again. This time they're prepared and it'll be a cakewalk. He says that the installment of the Noahide template will be the third phase of the World War Crusade against Israel. He says the U.S. military is good except for the upper echelon where they have also signed contracts. He reminds that your informed field can make you invincible. Jason says he might lead a community as 2040 gets closer. He says nothing else makes sense to him and that chaos is the reason. Many of the elites are preserving themselves and family, and all are playing a role. The Obamas, the Bushes, the Trumps, the Clintons are only now needed because the facilities are ready. He exclaimed that it's so crazy and there are so many ways to obtain money like NASA and Churn and the black budget. He says it's a joke, especially that the New World Order financial system was just repackaged and called the quantum financial system, and is now accepted. He says that he's open to other possibilities, but all his data leads to his conclusions. Alfred North Whitehead was mentioned in the chat with the claim that Jason says close to what he says. 
Jason says that successful intelligence program is run just like what we're seeing in the truth community. And that it's all by design. He says that a new perspective on news events will enable you to see that everything is about the Phoenix event. The elite con are convinced that it will be a bad and that 25% of the population will die. Due to the pending pole shift and return of the vapor canopy, wide-scale destruction is expected. As, as someone in the chat mentioned that 137 shows up in nature. Jason pointed out that 137 is the fine structure constant. And Jason points out that 138 is the pattern break for 137, the fine structure constant. Jason says that there's always hope and to use our empathy, imagination, and intuition to be the change you want to see. Jason says that the queen really did die. Uh, he relays the story of being born in a bathtub with his mother under sedation on June 9, 1973, around noon. He says that NASA has lost clout now and that all space apparatus is fake or those uh, special balloons. He says that we're not meant to remember past lives until we're in our permanent avatar. We don't need the memories now, just like we don't need to see all the electromagnetic spectrum now. And um, when we return to our permanent avatar, we will no longer need a shield. We're upgrading our avatars now in this experience. The central nervous system stops us from seeing everything in the electromagnetic spectrum. When the field collapses, all memories will be regained and be part of the eternal testimony. We may have been in many simulacrums, each for further development of our immortal personalities, but each stem has to collapse in order for the participants to know that they were in a stem. He says he's cool with dying, what happens after is whatever it is, and that when it's all over, it'll all be okay that a being of love created us and would not put us in any real danger. It's all temporary and often the result of our own projections. And we may have prior life projections playing out too. AIX is the opposite and requires being feared. The world is a copy of the real world that has been modified with huge changes. Predators and prey are not natural and part of the real world. Nor are, nor are barbaric acts like sacrificing humans. All right, everyone, thanks for listening, and I hope you have a good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. Remember to stay focused on what you want and help others if you can, and I'll talk to you next time. Ciao, ciao.